Hello and welcome. So before we start coding, uh, let's take a look at the projects that we are going to make. So this is the project. So once the user is in the home page, so he can view pictures, he can view the details of a picture. He can, if the picture is a free picture, he can download it. So once I click on download, picture is downloaded and I can save it in my laptop uh, so this is the picture also i can buy a picture so let's see a picture that is not free so here the picture is not free so i can buy it and to buy a picture you need to be logged in so let's create an account uh, Submit uh, and once submitted, I am logged in. So let's view this image. So I can buy this image. Let's hit buy image. Once done, I am redirected to the checkout Stripe form. Here, let's provide an email, test card. secret code and name and here we have the price that we need to pay and the name of the project laravel stock images and once i hit pay now payment is done successfully and i am redirected to the picture and now the payments place it successfully and I can download the image. So now I can download the image as you can see. And this is the image. Also, I can view my profile and inside my profile, profile I have the photos that I have purchased and I can also download them from here if i hit download i will download the image also we have the backend for this project so the backend so let's log in let's hit submit so the email is not or the password is wrong so let's i think that i have used a different password for this uh, admin and now as you can see i am in the dashboard so here i have all the pictures i can download or upload a picture here i can choose if the picture is free or paid i can choose a file let's choose this image give it a description and choose if it is free or paid if paid then we need to provide a price submit uh, and image added successfully and they can see it here also if the image is free we have the price here is free and also we can update an image so here i can uh, update only the i can update only uh, the description because the image we cannot update it the file we cannot update it because there is other users that have purchased this image so we need to keep the image available for our users and it's updated and we can log out from dashboard so this is the project that we are going to make so the first thing you need to do is to create a new laravel project so i have already done this step and let's start coding so the first thing we will do is to add the models and the migrations so let's create the first model which is the admin model with the, the migration and we need also factory and seeder because we will seed the, the admin so the admin we will not use form to create an admin but we will seed the admin to the database 
So now it's created. Let's move to the next model. So the next model is uh, the photo model. And we don't need the factory and cedar. Next one is the order model. Submit. And the final one will be the pivot table that will link the photos to the orders because each photo will belong to many orders. So let's do that. So here, let's create the migration, not the model, because the model we have already the order and the photo. We need the, the migration and let's rename it. Oh, let's name it, not rename it, but name it create order table or photo table. So this is the convention. So the O, then the P. So we need the name to be uh, uh, organized alphabetically. So, or ordered alphabetically. So the O and then the P, create order photo table. So let's hit enter and now it's done. So let's move to the first. So the first model or the first migration that is uh, the admin so this one so here the admin will be the same thing as we have uh, here with the, the default one which is for the users so let's bring this one let's copy all these fields and push them here so not here but here so let's paste all the fields here so we have named email email verified as the password and we need the final one which is the image so each admin will have an image so let's set it to string and here image and it will be null able So this is the first migration. Let's move to the next one. The next one is the photo, photos migration. And let's add the fields that we have. So the first one that we will have, or let's copy and paste. And we have the first one. So the first one is string and it's the URL, which is the path to the image. And sec second one is long text. And it's the body of the image. And next will be foreign, foreign ID. And foreign ID is the admin ID. So let's add here admin ID and constrained constrained and on the let's cascade so cascade cascade like this on the let's so not this but on the let's like this and uh, next we need uh, boolean and the boolean will be free or is free so if the image is free we will have here one if it is not then we will have zero and we need final one which is uh, the price so the price of the image and the price will be an integer integer and let's give it a price so here the price and price will be null able because the image may be free image so we will not have a price so now we are done with the photos so we have the url the body the admin which is a foreign id and what else we have is free and the price 
and the price is null able. So let's move to the next one. Next one is uh, the orders, and here inside orders, so we will have uh, the user ID. So we need the user ID, the user who created the order. So let's bring uh, this one that we have here the foreign ID and use it inside. Uh, Orders. So here we need, as I said, the user ID, the user ID, and we need also uh, a total field for uh, storing the total. And field will be a decimal, or you can make it integer if you want, and we give it a total of eight and uh, a precision of two. And that's all for this uh, migration. So now uh, let's move uh, to the final uh, to the final migration, which is the order and photo table. So here we will have uh, the order ID as foreign ID, and also a photo ID as foreign ID. And that's all for this migration and we have done with all the migration now let's move to the models so the first thing we need to do is to update the admin model so let's bring the user so admin will have the same thing as the user let's copy and paste here and let's change this one to admin admin and uh, admin will have another fill level field which is the image and that's all so we have we have the only to provide the image field here so let's move to the next one which is the order and the order has so here let's also provide let's bring the fill level array from here so let's use it here so here we have only two fields we have the user id and uh, the total what next what we have also so we have the relationships so public function user and each order belongs to a user so return this belongs to a user and that's all so let's move to the next one which is the photo so the photo will have also a fillable array and fillable array contains the url what else we have the body what else we have the is free what else we have the price and finally we have the admin id also the photo has relationships so let's bring the relationship from here and put it here so each photo will belong to will belong to uh, an admin and each photo will belong to many orders so here we need orders and belongs to many order and here admin what else we need the, so we will have the path for the image so we need to return the assets so the path of the image will be for example storage slash images slash name dot gpg so we need to return the full path of the image which means we need to add also the like this so we need to add the path or the link and then the path to the image. 
So to do that, we will add another uh, function which is get URL attribute and this attribute will hold or will have a value which is uh, which is the path to the image and we need to use uh, so here we will return the assets and give it the value so now we can have uh, so now we can have full path of the image so that's all for uh, the that's all for the photo. Let's move to the final model, which is the user, which is the user model. And here we have only one relationship. So let's go back to the photos. And here we need to bring this one and put it here. So the user will have many orders. So just we change this one to has many orders and that's all for the models now let's move to the factory and see there of the admin and see the a new admin